Whose feather? Is that yours? I'm holding a chicken. Oh, oh, lots of fun. Hey guys, Today we are hanging out at our friend's property. We are making a brulee fig with honey mascarpone cheese. It is really sweet and delicious, easy to whip up in case you have instant company you weren't expecting. We are adding some homemade vanilla extract and some beautiful springtime honey, which is very nice and floral. Check out my video on how to make vanilla extract. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Just hit that red button and that doorbell so you're notified when new videos come out. This really helps us gain subscribers so one day YouTube will generously donate to our little nonprofit. Be sure to use local honey. That will ensure that it will have all of the minerals, the pollen, the propolis, all the good stuff. Unfortunately, if you get honey in the store, up to 70% can be corn syrup. So please use local honey. If you use almond oil or grapeseed oil for the uh, measuring spoon before measuring out the honey, that will prevent sticking. So with the fruit, is actually customizable. You can actually use any fresh fruit in season. So you could use some beautiful raspberries. You can use apples, dates, strawberries, peaches, even granola and drizzle it with yummy honey. Make a dessert and frost cupcakes, cookies, or even fill a crepe. It's such a versatile recipe, have fun with it. Let's get busy in the kitchen. We're gonna grab some mascarpone cheese. This is similar to a cream cheese. If you haven't tried this, it is so good. Now we're going to grab a quarter cup of heavy cream and we're going to pour that in. And now it's time for our homemade vanilla extract. This stuff is the real deal and so much better than the fake stuff. Grab a pinch of Himalayan salt. And now the piece de resistance are honey. So first, of course, we're going to grease up that spoon so our beautiful honey does not stick. Fun fact, it takes 108 bees their entire lifetime to make three tablespoons of honey for our recipe today. Bees are giving us such a gift, seriously. Look at that beautiful honey. Grab a lemon. So I'm actually using some lemon slices left over that I cut, but basically you want to use the rind of one lemon. Mix it up and give it a taste and add some more lemon rind if need be with some juice. Now we're going to be adding our fruit. Today I'm going to be using about five figs that are fresh in season. You can use up to eight figs depending on the size. In a lined pan with foil you're going to grease the bottom just a little bit and now you're going to put your fruit on there and sprinkle with some brown sugar or of course more honey just to taste. Broil that until golden and hot. It takes about five minutes. If you don't have a broiler, you can use a blowtorch to caramelize the tops of the fruit as well. We're gonna put about two dollops of the honey mascarpone onto the plate. With the back of a spoon, do a nice little swirl. Now we're just going to make the presentation look nice and pretty. Things look really nice in threes, so I'm gonna do that. Top it off with some sliced almonds for texture. You could also use some pistachio as well, a nice little crunch. Add some edible flowers to make it nice and pretty for a fancy treat. Oh my God, this is so decadent. Creamy deliciousness. I wish you were here to taste this for yourself. That's it. Super fun and easy. For recipe details and product links, just click show more below. Then scroll down. For questions or comments, please do that below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for being happy. Bye. Oh no, 
you're gonna fly. <sighs> so not used to chickens. Can I try it again? No, you're onto me. Hi, you're you're a different chicken. <laughs>